Could I ask you, when do you feel most alive? Spiritually speaking, I think I would say in public worship. I think I know what it is in public worship to be transported above and beyond myself into a world of ultimate reality with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven. And I, I think there is almost nothing that convinces me of the reality of God than this kind, than public worship, when with the congregation one is just lifted into heaven. So that's one. I think another and quite different one would be in terms of human friendships. Um, I'm grateful to have many friends and very grateful to have the opportunity to enjoy their friendship and to do things with them. Um, Bird watching? Uh -huh. Yes, well, you know that I'm, I'm a rather fanatical bird watcher. I used to be. As a matter of fact, my eyesight is uh, deteriorating, and I can't really see now, ornithologically speaking, as I used to be able to. Um, but um, it, people have asked me how I began to be a bird watcher, and the answer really is through my father. My father was a physician, a cardiologist to be precise. And during the summer holidays, he would take me out for walks in the country uh, and tell me to shut my mouth and open my eyes and ears, which was a splendid illustration um, of observation. I began by being hooked on butterflies. But I'm very, I, I had three sisters originally, and one of them, who was always my rival, my sibling rival, we got into an argument together, and she threw a cushion at me, which landed in the middle of my butterfly box. And if I've ever seen red in my life, I saw it then. And I chased her round and round the table in the, in the nursery. And I, I reckon I would have killed her if I'd caught her but I didn't catch her. My, my butterflies were ruined. My father did his best to mend them with secotine or other kinds of glue. But I was utterly disconsolate for a week. But now, it's an interesting example of, of divine providence. Now I'm very thankful that I did change from butterflies to birds. People think I'm peculiar enough to go around the world with a pair of binoculars, but supposing I'd gone around the world with a butterfly net, <laughs> I doubt if I would have survived. So I, what is so wonderful about birds or butterflies or anything in nature is that it's so marvelous early in the morning to go out before the world is awake to enjoy all the sights and the sounds and the smells of nature to get away from people. So I think I've experienced what you're talking about in those three ways and probably others as well.